Hi, Andy. How are you doing? Hi, Oscar. How are you? I'm very well. Good, good. Stuck at home, but very well. <laughs> <laughs> yes, actually, yeah, I'm, I'm very thankful for your book. It's got me out of the house. I gave you an excuse to get out of home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm enjoying it very much. Uh, is it the same studio as the, after the, um, the previous book? So are you doing, a, doing it in a, in a new one? No, no, no. It's, it's, it's the uh, it's the same studio. It's um, we're in uh, near Queen's Park somewhere in, in uh, <coughs> northwest London. Well, I'm jealous. Wish I could be there. <laughs> <laughs> How's your violin playing? I'm busy writing. <laughs> oh, good, good. Okay, you write another one. Um, well, I'm writing this other series ah. uh, in Spanish. Oh, I see. Uh, but right after <clears throat> that, um, I will be back to to write the. Seventh, Fran McGray. This is the the longest trilogy I think I've ever come across. I was told it was a, at the beginning it was just going to be a trilogy. <clears throat> I mean, I'm not complaining. Uh, well, uh, actually, that was kind of the emergency plan, right? <laughs> uh, in case the in case it didn't uh, kick off. Ah, um, right. Thankfully, it did. Good. Yes, um, absolutely. Yes, actually, the b- book seven, which I will start now, uh, is when everything will be revealed. Ooh. You mean there's more to be revealed? My God. Yes. Book book six, uh, the, the Dance of the Serpents, uh, as you probably know by now, is quite linked to book two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, we have yeah. a few returning characters. Yes. Uh, I yeah. try and remember what they sounded like. <laughs> it was, I think, it was 2016 when you were reading uh, A Fever of the Blood. Oh wow, was it? Was it that long ago? Gosh. I think so. Yes. Right. Uh, yeah, it feels like a life, lifetime ago. <laughs> yeah, yes. A lot's happened since then. Four months ago feels like a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, actually. Yeah. Well, I have a, a few questions from um, people. Okay, on the internet. shoot. Well, you probably know by now you have uh, all these people who love the audiobooks. Oh, you make me blush. <clears throat> I had a few very, very nice comments uh, uh, and, and questions for you. Oh, right. Oh. Well, we had Claire Monaghan. She asked... Um, how hard it is to nail Nine Nails' accent. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, it's just, that's really easy, Hen. You know what I mean? He's just there. Um, uh, but he's not that difficult, really. I mean, it, it was one of those things. When I uh, first uh, tried out for the first book, uh, I was sent a few pages. And um, uh, like in a lot of these things, I, I do voices for all sorts of different things. Um, the first, the first voice is usually the one that that um, works best, and um, I just go with my instinct, and and uh, that's what came out. Um, and uh, he's very well um, ensconced in there now. So so uh, <laughs> so I think I'm I'm. I, I think he's sort of he's, he's nailed down pretty firmly. You'll probably get more comfortable doing him as the books progress. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I've been told that my Scottish accent's quite good. Um, a few years ago, I did a play in London, um, theatre play, and uh, I was the only. It was a Scottish. It was a Scottish play, not the Scottish play. It was a Scottish play, and I was the only non-Scottish actor in the piece and I was playing the lead <laughs> I was terrified I was absolutely <laughs> terrified but the, all the all all the all the Scots actors said no 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 you're very good you're really really very very good so uh, that was that was gratifying uh, did you need any coaching for that or oh <laughs> good god no 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 <laughs> <clears throat> no they told me but the rest of the cast told me if I if I'd said anything wrong so uh, say I had a have uh, had about sort of seven different coaches on hand all at the same time. All at the same time, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, well, kind of a related um, question sent by Sentaro Kurosaki. Okay. Uh, who is your favourite character to voice? Um, if, well, uh, that's a toss-up um, between... I mean, I can tell you <laughs> my most unfavorite character to voice and that's madame katerina um but that's a yeah. very, <laughs> that's a very long story because she's got so many different bits uh so many different influences in her um in her accent i find her very very difficult and whenever i come across a long piece of hers i groan inwardly 
Um, there's a very, very long piece of hers in uh, in this latest book, which has been fun. It was nice to come across. Thank you, Oscar. Um, but the yeah the the my most favourite uh, it's a toss up between Frey and McGray. Um I like doing McGray's uh, acts. I, I enjoy I enjoy I enjoy the character because he's he's uh, he's no nonsense and he says it like it is, and uh, he swears and he shouts and he he just speaks his mind. But I also like. Uh, doing Frey um, for the opposite reason because he's very uptight he's very English and very prissy um, and I enjoy the humour in it more than anything else uh, so I don't know on balance perhaps because he's got a bit more freedom maybe McGray is probably my, my favourite character basically McGray says all the things I would like to say, but I'm too polite. <laughs> exactly. He just comes out with it. He doesn't care. Actually, th there was mm. another character that I think you probably hated even more than Katerina. Oh, yeah. Who's that? Uh, I don't know if you remember John Singer Sargent, the the real-life painter in A Mask of Shadows. Oh, yes. I do have to apologize for that one. I'll, I'll, I'll just... <laughs> <laughs> yes, well... Look. We should probably just draw draw a veil over that. <coughs> the, the, well, the man um, basically he he was American, but he spent a lot of time in France and UK and mm. I think Italy as well. And I have to be honest, I I didn't when I was writing it, I didn't know what he would have sounded like. I don't think I, think I did either. <laughs> <laughs> I think I made something up. I'm, a, a really messed up accent. Right. Or he will sound just upper class British, ah. but describing it just upper class British was not fun. <laughs> no, no. Um, but then the the accent you did was was really was really fun to to listen. I, I got away with it, did I? <laughs> yeah, I was telling you like that that you hated that, that direction. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's always when you've got like two or three, or even four sometimes different influences in the same uh, in the same voice it's uh, it's really tricky to pull off you know how much of it do do you do do you, did you pull out um, the odd word in uh, in, a, in a different accent like with madame Katerina, you know I, I have to throw in the odd the odd scottish word in this sort of weird kind yeah. of middle european accent i do apologize for her <laughs> <laughs> i know you're very fond of her yeah, in, a, in book five there was a whole chapter just told in her voice. <laughs> that's right. Yes, I still have uh, sleepless nights over that. And that's, that's the kind of thing we we don't notice when we're listening to it. That, that all the work you, you actually put into them because it just sounds uh, fluent, and well, that's probably just testament to the to the good work that we don't even notice. That's very some... kind of you to say so. <laughs> Yeah, just telling the truth. Just telling the truth. Yeah. <laughs> I have another another question from Sarah Loveday. Uh, mm -hmm. She's asking if you have. Uh, I'm a bit embarrassed to ask this question, oh. and, and you, yeah, just answer uh, freely if you have any favorite book in the series so far. Uh, oh, oh, oh! I think I I would answer the same the same noise. Ah. <laughs> uh... Oh, they all have different. I I enjoyed the strings of murder very much because it had all those. It had quite a lot, a lot of funny Scottish violin makers who were who were a great deal of fun. I enjoyed Lock of the Dead. That was uh, very dark and gothic, and you had that weird um, sort of Adams family esque family by who lived by the lake. Um, I don't know. I mean, they're all they they've all got sort of aspects that that are that are that are fun and and enjoyable. I don't think I have one um, mm, uh, one favorite. I suppose the one I'm most fond of would be um, Strings of Murder because it was the first one, um, and it was the one where all the characters were were introduced and I was sort of meeting them for the first time. So I so I remained very fond of that one. Yeah, it has that soft spot in my. In my heart as well. <laughs> right. <laughs> of course. Of course. It's my debut uh, yeah. book as well, so <clears throat> yeah. I can't really be 100% uh, impartial to Districts of Murder. Um, having said so, I think 
my favorite scene in the series is actually in in this book. Um, and there's one character that I can't wait to hear what you do with. Ooh, 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 who, where, where's that? You, oh, you better not tell me, actually. I well, I'm not saying it right now. Okay. Because it's... You can tell me later. Tell me when it's finished. And yes. then tell me how disappointed you are with, with the awful mess I made of it. <laughs> I'm sure you won't. <laughs> um, actually, uh, one, one of the things I wanted to tell you, my, my favourite character that you voice, secondary character, is uh, Frey's stepmother. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, she's a harridan. Yes, terrible woman. <laughs> you can hear the nastiness. When... <laughs> yes, she's based on a few, a few people I've come across over the years. <laughs> There's a lot of vitriol in there. Yeah, definitely. Mm. I have this request from one of my cousins, and it's a bit embarrassing. Oh, and another embarrassing question. It's not so much a question; it's a request. Right. If you do a little bit of water. <laughs> now, why am I not surprised to have that? From your cousin, did you say? Yeah, from my cousin's proper Star Wars junkie. What, what's your cousin's name? Enrique. Or Enrique. You can call him Henry. Henry. Oh, I call him, I call him Enrique, for God's sake. No, if that's his name. In Watto's voice, that would be great, yeah. Hey, Enrique, how are you doing? Oh, it's Watto here, I understand you're the cousin of this deadbeat Oscar and um, somebody, the, the Murios. He's got a woman's name. What is that, huh? Uh, anyway, you look after yourself. Bye-bye. Uh, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is great fun, Andy. Um, I'm enjoying myself too. I hope we can do this. Uh, for the next one as well. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. That'd be great. Well, Oscar, I mean, it's always a pleasure. Always a pleasure to read your your wonderful books uh, and to talk to you. Um, and hopefully one day, um, maybe the next one, we can actually sort of meet up in person again. That would be awesome. And maybe maybe share a single malt or two. You know what I mean? I could totally handle that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Andy. Cheers, Oscar. Nice talking to you. Bye.